Hello everyone, this is Timo, user Mosen on TalkMyEmoOrg and Together.Yellow.com. I'm trying to show you slightly improved memory handling in Sailfish OS release 2.0.0.10 called Saima over its predecessor Eine Hemmelampi 1.1.9 and compare those sporting the new but heavier 2.0 UI to the last iteration of the 1.0 UI featured in Björn Trasket Sailfish 1.1.7. All devices are freshly ButterFS balanced and rebooted, so let's get into action. Left we have 1.1.7, in the middle is 1.1.9 and the right one 2.0.0.10. Scrolling on the bottom is a frame rate graph of the UI. Green means 60 frames per second, red is less. We stop Alien Dalvik on all devices to have it out of the equation. This is done using cluster SSH to issue the commands shown to you on screen to all three devices simultaneously. First we will start up a little video on native video player to have it playing in background during the whole test. Now scrolling on top of the page is the apps frame rate. Again green is 60 frames per second, red is less. Starting the video to have some continuous load we can monitor from the sound playing. We have 1.1.7 running green on the left, appears to me 1.1.9 in the middle with more frame drop than 2.0 on the right. Let's get the browser into action, opening yalla.com. So here we see a change in 2.0 with a fast switch to home screen to present the loading icon, giving a responsive appearance. Though mighty old 1.7 is fastest and even 1.1.9 a tad quicker. Bringing up YT video player. Here 1.1.9 with some more frame drops than the others. Starting gallery app. Starting media player. Next is calendar, make it seven native apps running. Now it is kind of obvious to me that 1.1.9 is more lagging than 2.0 in this test. App number 8 is Yola Maps. And let's have Hebo as number 9. 1.1.9 was slowest bringing up Hebo, so at least I see an improvement in 2.0 when running many apps multitasked. Also looking back at the graphs over the test so far gives the impression of a slight change to the better in Saima to me. So to have a demanding tense app with an inbuilt synchronization visualization to maybe confirm this observation, I will start Soma app. Yes, as cluster SSH decided to hang on the last command, I will Start this last app with the triple finger longera.
What we will see is Sailfish OS switching the audio on all devices to SoMyFM if I press play. Um, maybe we can see which one is going out of sync first. Ah, there we have it. 1.1.9 is hanging behind and lagging out of sync. Let's see if any of the devices killed the happy browser in the process by OOM. No, all coming up the moves. Going to make a cut here to save our ears. So, what to do now? Next thing I'm going to try is to blow that house of cards by bringing alien Dalvik to the equator. Remember we stopped it in the beginning, so it will be an extra demanding task for our already packed little sailfishies, because it has to bring up the alien Dalvik prior to start any APK. This commonly failed on me with 1.1.9, so let's see if it got any better with 2.0. Trying to bring up my favorite little memory hawk jelly splash. Ah, uh, missed on 1.1.7, but the comparison of 2.0 UIs is still valid. Going to start Jelly Splash again on 1.1.7. As there is no music playing anyway, it will come up rather fast. And Eine Hemi Lumpy has lost it. That is what I'm used to, starting an Android app without Alien Darvik already running needed the app to be started twice on 1.1.9. Whoa, Saima with a full freeze. But I suspect it's still running. Yeah, too impatient, but Jelly Splash is still loading, sort of fine. I muted the music in the video to spare you the chaos, but there is actually music running on both 2.0 devices, which is doing some load in the background. There we have it. I'm unmuting the music so you can hear it's running in the background. So, I like the slight improvements Saimar brought to us, especially my girls will love the better Dalvik behavior. But as always, your mileage may vary. Thanks for watching. If you have any idea for a better or more meaningful test case, just drop a comment here. I'll happy to read. Thank you and bye.